Hi, I'm Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. And today I'm gonna to walk you through setting up a multi-site installation on local. For those who don't know, local is our development tool here at WP Engine, and it makes working on and building websites faster locally. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my local app running, and the first thing we're gonna do is create a site. I will click the lower left-hand corner icon here where it says add local site. I wanna create a new site, so I will click continue. I will type in the name of this for the demonstration purposes. We'll call it multi-site. Uh, click continue, and I'm gonna select preferred environment. Also continue, and now I will set up a arbitrary username and password. Drop my email address right here, advanced options. This is what we wanna do. You'll see here it says, is this a WordPress multi-site? The answer is no. Uh, what we wanna do is change that to yes, either subdirectory or subdomain. Now the subdirectory setup would establish something to the effect of uh, localdomain.com slash whatever your site is called. And the subdomain would be uh, dot something dot local domain .com. So you can uh, prefer one way or the other, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I usually prefer the subdirectory, so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna go ahead and add the site. Finish the setup. And now I have a multi-site installed. I will enable one-click admin so that I could just go right in and double check that everything is working. Uh, as you can see here, we've got multi-site.local. And up here in the upper left-hand corner, this shows me the list of sites. So I know that multi-site has uh, set up properly. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sites menu. And to demonstrate the subdirectory, I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna call the site style and my email address. And as you can see, if we visit the site now, we've got multi-site.local slash style. If I had selected the subdomain, it would have been style.multisite.local. And that's it, friends. That's how easy it is to set up multi-site with local. A couple of uh, reasons why we might wanna do this. If I am a product developer and I have maybe a theme demo and I wanna create a demonstration for a bunch of different themes that I'm working on, uh, it'd be very easy to manage uh, all of them within one dashboard. That's commonly uh, why people use multi-site. Uh, other instances sort of in a production environment would be uh, universities that have different departments that want their own website, but from an admin or IT perspective, they just wanna manage it all in one place. Uh, that's another one of the benefits for multi-site. But a lot of people don't know that local allows very quick and easy setup for multi-site. And I've just shown you how to do it and good luck and let us know if you have any questions or comments. And we'll see you soon.